carefully removing the bark from ash tree logs can identify or quantify EAB infestations. Please remember to always follow established safety protocols for equipment and procedures. Typically, emerald ash borer adults emerge from infested ash trees in the early to midsummer months. After they mate, females lay their eggs on the bark. Eggs hatch within one to two weeks, and the emerald ash borer larvae bore into the bark to feed on the phloem tissue that carries nutrients to the tree. Larvae feed and grow throughout the summer and create distinctive serpentine or S-shaped tunnels or galleries under the bark. Before emerald ash borer larvae become adult beetles, they create a chamber in the sapwood where they become pupae and remain until they emerge. On thick barked portions of the tree, emerald ash borer larvae may create the chamber in the thick outer bark rather than the sapwood. Emerald ash borer adults chew through the bark and emerge through an exit hole that's shaped like a capital D. Beetles do not develop at the same rate. Some larvae will stay inside the tree for two winters. This is important to know when sampling because you might find different life stages. Before starting your ash sampling, it's good practice to visually examine the bark on the trees for signs of EAB infestation. Look for bark damage from woodpeckers eating the larvae, vertical bark splits, and D-shaped exit holes. Woodpeckers will often feed on the larger larvae, and fresh pecks on the bark can appear lighter in color than the surrounding outer bark, but these become less distinguishable in color over time. Seeing areas where the bark is split can be because live tree tissue is forming around a wound caused by the emerald ash borer. Emerald ash borer galleries may be visible in the bark split. Since D-shaped exit holes are small and difficult to see, you can lightly shave away the outer layers of the bark to make them easier to spot. Begin by lightly shaving the outer layers of the tree's bark. Here is where you might see some overwintering chambers. Continue to shave the bark until you get to the inner bark, which is light tan or cream colored. Next, carefully shave away the inner bark. If the tree is infested, S-shaped galleries from emerald ash borer larvae will be under the inner bark. You should shave away all the inner bark to get to the actual wood so you won't miss any larvae. Not doing this is a common mistake. The inner bark can be thicker than you realize and you might not see hidden larvae. Depending on the condition of the ash tree, the inner face of the inner bark and the sapwood is often slick and smooth. It is common to find larvae of different sizes that are at different stages of development during sampling activities. Large galleries are obvious when you remove the bark, but you can cut through smaller galleries before you realize what you've done. It is good practice to remove thin, narrow strips as you shave away the inner bark to reduce the likelihood of missing smaller galleries. This method helps prevent cutting too deep and destroying galleries that may be present. Feeding emerald ash borer larvae fill the galleries with their light-colored boring dust, or excrement, called frass. If the gallery has been carefully debarked and no larvae are found, they are likely located under the gallery in a chamber in the sapwood. If this is the case, lightly scrape away the boring dust and the gallery. You should find two frass-packed holes approximately 2.5 to 3 centimeters from one another. These are the entrance and future exit paths from the chamber in the sapwood. Cut into the sapwood between these two boring dust-packed holes to locate the chamber. Debarking ash is an effective way to sample for emerald ash borer to identify or confirm infestations. Sampling can provide valuable information about the emerald ash borer populations and help determine how to manage the infestation. Careful attention to detail and following the simple recommendations outlined in this video will help ensure that you've debarked ash material effectively to sample for emerald ash borer.